Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe number 1636. Uh, they call this a Dutch door bolt. Um, be an awfully big Dutch door <laughs> for, a, for a bolt like this. This would be just a surface bolt. Um, although it's in the vein of what a Dutch door bolt would look like, it's just that a Dutch door bolt would be, you know, about four and a half inch in length. Although it would be the same size or the same uh, proportions to the, um, you know, general fit and feel of the item itself, except that it would be substantially shorter. So this would be a surface bolt. This is an 18 inch surface bolt, the 1636. Uh, shown in what they're calling the 613 oil rubbed bronze finish. Uh, Don Joe is a company that I would not certainly call one that has a mastery over 613. Um, this is going to be made of brass, uh, not bronze. This is going to be certainly quite complimentary and under the right light it will definitely reflect lighter tones even though it's going to be quite a challenge to see that in the camera. The camera is going to make you think that it's black and well, I can tell you that it's not black because I have a large mouse pad on my desk here that you can't see. It's awfully dark, and in the absence of something truly black, to some eyes, I would certainly not tell you you're wrong when you conclude it's black, but I would tell you that it's not black um, because it's not. It is a very, very dark bronze, and oil rub bronze can most definitely be classified as rather light to exceptionally dark. It's permitted to be within that range. So 18 inch is what this surface bolt is for. And that's generally a reference to the overall length of the bolt itself. Put our tape measure on there, get an idea. It's a little heavy on that, about 18 and a quarter inch. The width of the bolt, about 5 eighths. The projection of the bolt, looks like it's about 5 sixteenths. The weight, 1.46 pounds, so about a pound and a half. A nice large colonial style knob there. It's probably about an inch and every bit of an inch and a quarter. Yeah, about an inch and a quarter. Total projection, what would be off the face of the door to the knob would be about an inch and three eighths or so. Okay. These three classic style guides that are here, they have springs underneath them to keep them somewhat in place. Okay, and the throw, it's a very common question to get asked, what is the projection of the bolt? Well, it's limited from the guide to this riveted pin that's here, uh, or this inserted pin, it's not riveted. So from where that guide is to the pin, it looks like it's about an inch and an eighth. Yeah, say about an inch and an eighth, right in that range is what your throw would be. Um, available in different uh, lengths, you can certainly order this in a longer length, shorter length, certainly different finishes. We'll touch on the different finishes as well when we switch to the screen view. This is going to include inherently three different strikes. The strikes that are included are going to allow you to install this down in any application, push side, pull side application. You're going to have an angle strike. Take some, dimensional, uh, take some dimensions of this. Angle strike, okay, about two and an eighth by about seven eighths by about three eighths or seven sixteenths. The mortise strike, that's going to be about two inch by just heavy and three quarter. Then you would have what I would call a rim strike um, is what I would call this. They may call it something else. Overall height, about an inch and seven eighths. Overall depth, about an inch and nine sixteenths or so. We'll include a package of screws as well. Now, let's switch to the screen view and let's go over immediately what and how you might apply the different strike plates based on the application. So let's, let's just knock out the concept of why you have three strikes. Now the concept of why you might have three strikes is pretty simple and straightforward once you really understand what they're thinking about. You have that mortise strike. It's just flat, okay? You have that T strike, which I called a rim strike. Then you have the angle strike, which is gonna look like this.
and that it's also going to look like this top-down sort of view. Those are the three strikes. So the question becomes is what side of the door are you installing the material onto? If it's going to be the uh, push side of the door, uh, you could easily use the mortise strike uh, and the rim strike. Pardon me, the angle strike. Okay, let's take a look at why we might um, use those on the push side of the opening. Let's say that we have a uh, a jam, and let's look at it from the uh, jam perspective first a cross section of just the jam push side of the opening your door is here your door is going to swing out okay great let's install didn't say I was an artist uh, let's let's install your bolt on the side of the door you know obviously not an 18 inch bolt is going to be installed here but you would take that um, and obviously we're really out of scale here, but you would take that rim strike and you would mortise it, uh, pardon me, it's, it's, a, it's a mortise strike. You would mortise that right to the edge of the door here, or to the jam, okay? And that's just gonna go right in here is how that's gonna work, okay? So it'd be a very typical uh, place for you to install that. If you were doing a, if you were doing a vertical mount, which probably is what's gonna happen for this client, because it is such a long bolt. This is a cross section. Okay, now that bolt Okay, that angle strike on the push side, that's gonna go right here is where that's going to go. And then your bolt is just going to be able to come in here. Okay? So that angle strike gets put right into the this is the this would be considered the stop. That's what we call the soffit. That's the face of the stop right there. Okay? So you're going to mortise out some of the stop face and some of the soffit for that angle strike to fit right there probably what the client is using. Now, to take the conversation a little bit further, uh, this would be top of the door. You could would use this at the bottom of your door. So if you have a, and this client ordered a 18 inch and a 24 inch. So I was gonna get, if I were to guess, the 24 is going up here, the 18 is going down here, and you would likely use a mortise strike like this because it will be just applied to the floor or to the sill um, or threshold whatever it is okay now if you were to have a if you were to have a pull side mount which you could very likely have this would be bottom this is top okay now, if we were going to do a pull side mount, we'd use the rim strike. Pull side mount would be a door that's going to look like this. Your door is here. Okay. Door swings out this way. Now, your surface bolt is going to be right here. Okay. That rim strike, you're going to put right here. Let that hang off a little bit, and that's going to go right through the opening. You'll mortise it to your jam. And that's where you would apply that. Okay, so pull side is going to be the universal strike. Well, rim strike. I, I, I'm calling it a rim strike. Uh, rim strike because the hardware is installed on the rim or perimeter of the door is why we would call it that. Um, and that's where I would use those three different strikes. Should be able to be uh, pretty uh, functional in that regard. Let's continue this. Okay, now. This is the item we're looking at, the 1636. That means it's an 18 inch bolt from Donjo. Made of brass, 18 inch, 5 eighths half round, furnished with rim, mortise, and T strikes. So, not sure 
Mortis is that flat rectangular one. The Rim Strike, I don't know what they're calling these items. I'm going to stick with my definitions. Screws are included. Oil rub bronze. What other finishes are available? That's a good question. Let's take a look. The Donjo 1636. That's going to be available in 605 polished brass. 613 oil rub bronze, the one we're looking at. 619 is satin nickel. 620 antique nickel. 625 polished chrome. 626 satin chrome. Those are the finishes available on this item. Below this video is going to be a link to the template. Let's take a closer look at that. That will give you all the dimensional properties of everything we've just gone over and also refers to the finishes that we just discussed. So you'll have all the dimensional properties beyond what we've provided. This document is more than 15 years old, so the hardware doesn't change often. And if you looked at a catalog from 1905, it's not going to be dissimilar. Um, also a link to the product catalog. Now that's a handy document because that will allow you to review all things bolt and latch bolts and latches from Donjo. Okay, flush bolts, uh, constant style or automatic flush bolt, residential style flush bolts, aluminum storefront style, dust proof strikes. Uh, would not be impossible for you to use a dust proof strike with this. You need to make sure that your dust proof strike opening is wide enough to accept the 5 8 width of whatever your of this bolt. Roller latches are here ball catches, three-way catches, magnetic catches, different applications, uh, standard high strength for single or double doors, a surface bolt with a key, a key operated lock, a key operated bolt, those are nice, uh, modern style typical surface bolts for use in commercial for use in commercial applications, then a heavy duty version that you can padlock, this one, modern style um, slim trim short through long surface bolts. These are nice, the SB, because if you need a really short bolt like a 2 inch, um, you want to restrict access to a toddler uh, unintentionally opening a door down to a you know basement and stairs. You can install one of those up at the top of the door. That works pretty well. Then you have your what they call Dutch door bolts. A true Dutch door bolt would be that 1630, but they can do different sizes, 8, 12, 18, 24, and 36, and this client just you know, uh, happen to order an 18 and 24. Um, they're not, you know, I would call them surface bolts and I would call that four and a half. I would call that a Dutch door bolt on its on its own. Why would the client order an 18 and a 24? Well, if you've got a pair of nine foot doors, you're going to want a longer bolt at the top. And 24, uh, I would certainly, and in fact, I would consider it, it very likely on the borderline of too short. So if you have an 8 foot door, 24 would work. If you're taller than 8 foot, you might want to go to 36 inch. Just imagine how, t how, how, much, how many inches off the floor you can reach up with your hand and manipulate. Um, the 18 inch is probably used at the bottom, or they have two different pairs of doors and one's shorter. But an 18 inch is nice to use at the bottom of the door because you don't have to reach over so much to get it to, to operate the, um, the bolt. Also, if you have 8 foot, 9 foot, 10 foot doors, the hardware should grow in proportion to the door size because you put a little 8 inch bolt on a 9 foot door, it's not going to look right. You know, it's just, will it keep the door secured? Yeah, reasonably well, but it won't look right because it'll be out of proportion. So people will use longer bolts for proportion reasons as well. Okay. Now there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. That's where you can pull up not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation. A link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog is here. That full product catalog is also broken down into several subsections as well. Um, bolts and latches right here. Okay, If you know the name Don Joe at all, you probably do for their wraparound plates and their latch protectors. It's probably why you might know them. But a comprehensive offering of other items, if you're looking at long bolts like this, you might want to take a look at their uh, their hinges. Maybe their ladder poles might interest you. They have a comprehensive offering of door poles uh, as well. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Now in conclusion, if you have any questions on the Donjo 1636, 
surface bolt uh, or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, nice sturdy bolt. This is going to be something that you'll be able to find from lots of different people. And why buy it from Don Joe? Well, um, you know, Don Joe is a company that's been in business for several decades. They have a very firm understanding uh, when it comes to hardware. The people that you speak to there on the phone have a reasonably technical background when it comes to the applications of where their material is used. Generally, the person you speak to can answer all of your questions, technical, logistical, uh, lead time type questions, things of that nature. Uh, and all around a, uh, a nice group of folks to, uh, to deal with, to work with. Any questions on the 1636 in a 613 finish Don Joe surface bolt or what they call a Dutch door bolt uh, or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.